Hey there, guys. Welcome to the first video of Mini. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna start recording my 3D art um, in hopes that it will push me to do more of it and also help you guys out. Uh, I'm not claiming to be a professional by any means, but uh, maybe some of my workflow will help you guys out and uh, your workflow. I'm not sure. Um, so we're gonna start out this first uh, video. Um, kind of my workflow from Substance Painter or not? Sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, I work my workflow from Maya to ZBrush to Substance Painter. Basically, um, there's a couple things. I struggled with inside of Substance Painter when I um, first started using it. Um, basically, it was having multiple meshes. Like, for example, I have this axe head here, and then I have the handle. Um, baking the uh, maps, basically. I always had issues um, by the... Hold on here, I'll bring it up. Um, this right here, the matching by name, it always just did not want to work correctly, and I could not figure out why. Um, anyway, so so my uh, my workflow here is... You can see I got the Viking axe here. The, uh, the Ragnar axe from the Viking show best show in the world just saying uh, anyway so you can see i have my low poly axe here uh what am i sitting with 652 tr uh, tries it's not very many um so i have you know um the axe head named axe underscore lp um the handle handle underscore lp so basically i'm going to take both these and i'm going to export selection and i'm going to just export it as uh, whatever i want to call it i named it axe fbx um so then after i do that's just for substance um then i export each of these individually as an OBJ file to put into ZBrush so I can sculpt them. Um, but anyways, after I, I do all that, um, there for a while I was having this issue where I would, okay, so for example, I got my, my high poly axe head here and then I got my my uh, high poly handle here. So for a while, you know, I'd click on it, um, export, blah, 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 name it, you know, uh, axe underscore HP, which is high poly. Um, I'd import it into uh, to Zebra. Like when I bake it, the name match by name wouldn't work. So like I just get black maps. I cannot figure out for the life of me. Um, so I played with some settings for quite a while actually inside of ZBrush, and I figured out there's a little tool down here under export settings. So when exporting a mesh in here to go to Substance for your baking process, um, this option right here, GRP Group, you want to turn that off. Don't know why it works but you turn it off and uh, it bakes correctly. So basically I turn that off and then I would export it out and then I would um, come back over here to substance and I would in here turn on the uh, high definition meshes and I would select um, my axe underscore HP and then my handle underscore HP, which it knows to, um, to bake by those names because inside of Maya here, we named them underscore LP here. So after I imported those in, then you got to turn it, uh, the match to by mesh name. And then uh, your high poly mesh and low poly suffixes, you got to do that. I think capitalization matters. So you want to set those correctly. Um, I think by default, they're underscore low and underscore high. I prefer to use HP and LP, so I change those. Um, you can play with these a little bit. This is basically, I'm no genius in the subject here, but it it's basically kind of like, a, like an envelope where it shoots out rays, basically, to line the low poly and the high poly up. I'm not very good at messing with them. I don't mess with them much. I just kind of tweak it until I get the uh, desired effect that I kind of want. Um, so yeah, anyways, right here, um, see so like like right there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right there. Um, I think, uh, let me check here. For some reason, I feel like maybe I don't have uh, the top of it UV'd. Nope, it's UV'd. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're basically, I'm going to try this again. Um, I had an issue baking, I guess. So, um, yeah. Let's uh, actually, I don't know. Let's go to big textures. Um, we're going to max that out. I'm going to crank these a little bit. And I am going to turn anti-aliasing on, or anti-aliasing, however you pronounce it, by 2 times 2 And I'm going to go ahead and bake these. And you can see, baking sometimes takes a while, especially when you're working with uh, 4K like I am right now. Um, it does take a bit sometimes when you're baking this high, depending on your rig. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties. Um, I had to redo some things on my uh, model here. My UVs were messed up, so I had to redo a little bit of things. I was not prepared. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we got everything rendered here together, or baked, whatever. It's uh, pretty strong right now, the damage. Um, so I like to go in here and tweak with, thi tweak with things. Um, I usually go to the damages here. That's a generator layer. And uh, let's see here. Fill my blinder. Just, there we go. Uh, you should change the grunge amount a little bit. The wear level. I mean, that's that was pretty beat up. Uh, oh, it's about right there. Yeah, you should just play with the settings until I get a, a look that I like. And I'm actually... No. Okay, 
just had a fight with my dog. She had something she wasn't supposed to. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, I like to basically... Um, I come in here and I just play with a lot of things um, until I get a look that I want. Um, honestly, this is kind of the... <laughs> it's pretty basic, but this is kind of the look I was going for for the X. Um, it's a little bit beat up. A little bit more than I wanted it. Um, I don't know. I might play with a couple different uh, materials here to see what kind of effects I can get because that one... That was a little rough. That's <laughs> a little rough. So maybe we should try out some uh, a different effect here. Oh no! Oh no! All right. So yeah, we'll come in here. We'll play with a couple other settings. Um, and I really need to uh, get good at making my own. <laughs> like I, I need to quit just using these. But I mean, honestly, I can get the effect that I want a lot of the times by just using pre-made ones and tweaking them. So. It's not bad. It's a little, a little shiny. Um, I can come here and play with it a little bit. The base down a little bit because I want it to be a little bit darker there. And the uh, the roughness we're gonna bring that up a bit to get rid of some of that shine. It's too much, too much. I like use that a bit. Not too shabby there. Too shabby at all. Uh, let's see. Anyways, guys, I was kind of showing you my workflow. Um, obviously, this isn't done. Um, I have... Well... I have to bring these straps over, but I'm going to have to re-topologize those. And um, that, that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, that'll probably be the next video. I'll probably be re-apologizing. I'll do kind of a little bit of a series, I guess, on this this guy. Even though I didn't show you from the start, which, I mean, from the start, it was pretty simple. I mean, <laughs> this axe is a pretty simple design. Um, but with the next one, I can go from the start, just uh, for any beginners that are watching. Um, I mean, it's very, very simple. But for any beginners that are watching, the next one after I finish this axe up, I will go from the start to kind of help uh, some beginners out. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is kind of what we're sitting with right now. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Substance Painter is really good once you get the hang of it. Um, obviously, I, need, I really need to start making my own materials. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, stick around. Subscribe if you want to see uh, future videos because I'm going to do a playlist for this one, just finishing this axe. And then after that, I'm going to keep doing weapons. Weapons are kind of my, my favorite thing to do. Um, I want to get way better at them than I am right now. But anyways, stay tuned, guys. Keep hanging out. Uh, keep checking back for more. I will release the next part of this maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.